A likeable fresh Invictus DNA. Who doesn't like that? The sprayer is actually really, really nice. El Celo. I don't really know how to pronounce that. Let me know how to pronounce it down below. I know I'm butchering it. This fragrance is one that I kind of have a little bit of a funny history with. It was suggested several times by people on my channel to check this one out. I do a lot of our mauve fragrance reviews. I do a lot of our mauve top 10 fragrance reviews. After seeing so many subscribers recommend this one to me, I wanted to go pull the trigger and buy this one on eBay. I actually had a problem with my PayPal when I was having to jump through hoops for about a month. I usually use PayPal with my eBay. I literally tried to check out with this fragrance probably about two, two and a half months. And I was constantly getting things in my email like, oh, do you still want to buy this? So I finally pulled the trigger on this one. Right off the bat, it's an Invictus style fragrance. And if you're watching my channel, I just reviewed another Armand fragrance with an Invictus DNA Armand Rixo. So I will be comparing these two right here side by side, seeing which one is the best. I gotta say, I was a little disheartened to see that I'm buying an Armand fragrance, which can copy really expensive niche fragrances and unique fragrances. And not only do they copy a very simple kind of cheap fragrance like Invictus, but they copied it more than once. So that kind of really popped in my head when I was watching this video, but I think his name is I Fishers. Maybe I'll put a little picture of it, you know, in the video, but they're making lots of repeat clones of very cheap fragrances. He's basically gonna stop buying Armagh fragrances. I'm not gonna stop buying Armagh fragrances, but I really wanna say I am very, very, very turned off by having another full bottle of Invictus. In the future, I'm really gonna try to hunt down and make sure I don't buy another designer copy from our moth. But that being said, let's jump into L. CeeLo. Now this fragrance review probably would have been a little higher had I bought this one before I bought Rixos. That's kind of why I'm turned off because it's two Invictus style fragrances. Although I will say this is more of an Invictus original style fragrance. Rixos to me smells a little bit more of like an Invictus Aqua style fragrance. I've worn this fragrance at least two full days, maybe three, and I've sprayed them side by side. I think I did three full days with one on one hand, one on the other. The first day, like I said, this smelled more like Invictus. The Rixos smelled more like Invictus Aqua. The second day I was like, well, I know that I can tell the difference. I'm just gonna spray them and not remember which one is on which hand. When I did that, I could not tell the difference. I couldn't figure it out. So I'm like, okay, these are more similar than I thought. And on the third day of testing today, I definitely did notice the same difference that I smelled the first time, which was that this smells more like Invictus and that smells like more like Invictus Aqua. As I wrote up, but some quick pros, some quick cons. Let's jump into pros. This is a quality bottle and smell. Now, our mauves, they go after a lot of unique style bottles, but a lot of times they'll have problems with the bottle or a weakness or something that makes the bottle just kind of break or something. I really, really like this bottle. It feels very sturdy. The cap feels very cheap and light, but it also feels like it's not gonna break. I like how they mixed up the silver with the clear, and then they also have these multi-colors here. Also, the number one thing that's really nice about the bottle, the sprayer is actually actually really, really nice. A likable, fresh Invictus DNA. Who doesn't like that? That's pretty much where the pros end because it's basically something that smells almost the same as Invictus and it smells good. It's going to get compliments. People are going to like it and the bottle's good, high quality. Okay, the cons. I don't know. I didn't really think about how frustrating it would be just to buy three, four, five different copies of the same kind of likable fragrance, simple fragrance like Invictus. After getting this one, although I do really enjoy this DNA and this bottle and all this, I probably will try to find something with a little bit of a more unique vibe to it and to give me something more unique to talk about because this is essentially like an Invictus clone. You smelled Invictus, which most everybody has. It's one of those ones where it's super likable. It's not going to be groundbreaking, but it's super likable, super easy to wear. Not too many pros, not too many cons, just because it is so similar to Invictus and I have another Invictus clone. So for the rating, for the smell, I'd give it a solid eight. Maybe if this was the very first time I ever smelled this fragrance, maybe 8.5, or maybe if this was the first time I smelled it before having the Rixos there, maybe an 8.5, but a solid eight. It's really good. It's really solid, but doesn't break any grounds. Likeability. 8.5. Now I would say that Invictus is just a very, very likable smell. It did have a unique kind of juicy and broxen vibe that I didn't really smell in too many fragrances prior to Invictus. So I will say it, I saw 8.5 for likability. Longevity and projection, I give it a solid 7.5. It's right down the middle, 45 minutes to an hour. It'll be pretty strong. And then it'll last, you know, maybe probably about two hours, two and a half hours scent bubble. I did spray them once on one hand uh, right before I went to work. And I noticed after I got back from work, both of them I could smell once I got back from work. So I would say 
probably around the eight hour skin scent range. Very right down the middle for what this kind of fragrance is. If I had to pick one between Armoff, Rixos, and El Silo, I would probably pick Rixos just because this is a little bit more like the normal Invictus, which is a little bit more bubblegummy and sweet. I feel like the Rixos has a little bit more of a reserved musky feel to it. I will say that both these, when you get real close, there is some sort of like musky vibe in there. Although the fragrance is overall sweet and smooth, there is a kind of musky vibe to it, but I do kind of prefer the Invictus Aqua style musky vibe to the original. But I mean, it's such a minor, minor detail detail really you could go either way this is a nice fragrance but uh, unfortunately Invictus I think is like 50 or 55 dollars so maybe if you could find this for 20 dollars it's a nice fragrance to mix up it's actually a very good gift I'm seeing that it only copies a 50 dollar fragrance and not like a 200 300 or 400 dollar fragrance like they could have done that's pretty much one of the things that holds it back and they're repeating the fragrances I don't know why they're doing that Just let me know what you think of the fragrance review we're on the road to 25,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of you guys help you guys are the best I'm having a great day out here here. Hopefully, having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.